Hello everyone, my name is Mr. John Lunt and I'm at the Mayor's Bar. I'm about to show you an amazing VHS collection that you've probably never seen anywhere around. And the tour is going to start now. And we have a video up there. Devil Nightmare. Sold £181, believe it or not. Here we are at one of the biggest VHS x rental collection I have ever seen. I've got the mayor about to explain. Hello there, everybody. I've got the mayor about to explain his collection for you. In this section here, we will see the entertainment and video label, also known as EIV for short, which I only need 36 more tapes to complete it. And it's also, and also we go round the corner here, it all goes around the corner. You'll see it all up there. And then all the way behind you as well, which is on the top shelf. All the way along, through her as well. And then over there as well, behind the Blockbuster sign, you'll see more. And you'll also see a gummo tape, which is just about here, which is probably a very sought after film to get to collect, but it's, a, it's, it's an expensive tape. And then also here, if we turn backwards now, we'll see various posts, including Spice World. It shouldn't really be there, but it is. We've got some free certs on the bookshelves down below here. So now if we turn here, we'll go into what I call Imran Video. Imran Video was based in Walsall, closed its doors on, Feb on March the 16th, 2016. I took all his shelving away, I took his videos away, and that is how you are seeing a whole load of racking right now. So by the window we've got RCA collection right there. RCA, uh, then we've got Warner over here. We've also got Warner all the way up there, pre-certs and post-certs of course. And then on the red shelving is RCA, Warner, and the IV sets. And then if we come over here, RCA by the window, and then RCA collection is also over there. Now there's the Imran Video Store sign, which was his original sign. Also in this room are other video labels that weren't so big in the industry, but also release films such as Death Doll and Things like that. So now if we come out of this room. We shall turn left. And we shall turn left again, shall we? So what's in here, Mayor? So in here, if we go over step right forward to this little room that we've got here, whereby we can see a whole load of time codes on the floor because a shelf collapsed. If we go further forward, we've got old video racking, original saw racking, which is very hard to find these days. And then also above there, you can see some of it is still on the shelf, but didn't fall down. Right, so also in this room, we can see Guild and Fox releases. Pre-cert and post of course. Oh, now I must mention up there, if John can zoom in a little bit, uh, Dungeons and Dragons pre-cert videos right there which are very hard to find these days with other cartoons which are popular Marvel comics so we zoom out and we can see other guild releases and then further down we're getting pre-cert Fox and post-cert Fox videos all the way down like that and then on this on these bookcases here we have various pre-cert labels Embassy, Rank, Forney Am I. Uh, and they carry on films there, by the way. They are carry on films there, John. I'm glad you've spotted those because they are very hard to get hold of these days. Wow. These are the original pre cert releases. Very popular to get and very hard to get a hold of these days. And up above, you can see more horror films which are popular and hard to get hold of these days. There we go, like that open house with the door glued onto the video. 
very hard to find with the door still on intact. Rank Embassy going all the way along there. Very, very popular to collect. The same as Thorn EMI, we've got a overspill in here of Thorn EMI and Cannon. So there we go. Now I will direct you to a, another part of the... Coming out of this room now, John, we're turning left. What have we in here? Probably the main collection, I'd say. So this Blockbuster sign, where was that from? That was actually from Edge Lane. There was a Blockbuster on Edge Lane and uh, it was being demolished. I asked them how much it would be to buy it. They said they've already got a buyer coming. I said, how much have they given you? They said 30 quid. I said, well, I'll give you 40 quid for it. And that is how it came to me. Brilliant. Otherwise it would have been lost forever. Brilliant. And nobody would have ever seen it. And what do we have here on the left? On the left here, so if you go up, we've got VTC in the gold boxes. So all the way up are actually some touchstones and Disney films and whatever else, New World. So we come down. Now you're seeing a load of gold videos which are VTC label and also on the left on the wooden shelves is four EMI label. So uh, I'm collecting them trying to complete the whole label. Then we pan round we have got all sorts of true stories and bloody all sorts on the top shelf. And then over here where you're going now into the corner a Medusa label which is a very very popular label to collect because of the artwork. And the, uh, some of the films are quite good, but they're very collectible. A lot of them are rubbish, but they're very collectible to uh, collectors. And there is the Medusa label, along with a copy of VHS with its thing. There's only uh, 300 of those produced, but there they all are. And then also New Dimension is there, which was also part of Medusa. And then if we turn around now, we will see probably the main wall of this whole room where we will see completed sets of old horror films and action films but every film that people would remember such as Superman, Rambo, Nightmare on Elm Street, Friday the 13th, Ghoulies, they're all there, House, every sort of popular film that's in the uh, franchise back then in the old days and uh, what else we got over here so if we go over here now we've also got two four shelves of video nasties which were part of the uh, moral panic back in the early 80s that was the Mary White House if you remember but there we go that's uh, basically the, a short tour I would give more information, but we'd be here forever. Well, so I'll leave it to you, John. Let's get back down to the bar then. Let's go. Right, we're just on our way back down to Mayor's Bar, which I'm hoping he's going to buy me a drink. Oh, of course. Of course I am, John. But before I do, let's have a look at this section here, because we haven't filmed it yet. These are complete, various completed sets in the collection, pre-set and post-set, of course. There's K9. Everybody knows that film, Lawnmower Man. Uh, Firestarter 1 and 2 is right there, and other sorts of uh, complete sets that you can think of. They just can't be shelved at the minute, I've run out of room, I need to get my museum off the ground. Well, that was a short tour of the Mayor's astronomical VHS collection. Absolutely unbelievable. Hopefully, one day he'll have his own museum. Where the paying public maybe can come and look at them because it's absolutely awesome. This is Mr. John Munt reporting from the Mayor's Park.